Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you the best driving apps that I use when I'm out and about on the road. Just a quick reminder before we start, using your phone while driving in the UK is illegal and can land you in serious trouble. It's not worth it. To be able to use a driving app, you're going to need to buy a phone holder. You can find these on stores like eBay or Amazon. But remember, using your phone in one of these holders with the engine running is still illegal. So you need to set your phone before you start your journey and pull over if you need to make any changes. So this video is actually a continuation of my previous tech video, Best Apps 2017. So if you haven't seen that already, make sure you go and check it out. So let's get straight into it. The first one I'm going to talk about is Quad Cover. And this is one that I saw on the internet not too long ago and I think it's an absolutely brilliant idea. It's been an answer to my prayers for a long time. This app lets you do insurance quotes for any car that you want, well, pretty much any car. I think it's up to the value of maybe 40, 40 or 50,000 pounds or something like that. I'll put the exact amount on the screen so that you can see. But you can get insurance quotes to use a car for a couple of hours. And that's something that's usually really difficult to find. If you want to insure a car, um, you usually have to call up your insurance company, um, give them a whole load of details, spend a long time on the phone before you can get it sorted out. Or you go online and you find a website that will insure you for the entire day. And even if you're only using the car for 15 minutes or an hour, you have to pay for the whole day's worth of insurance, which is usually pretty expensive. So now you can just choose your car that you want to insure, select how long you want to use it for, and then just pay the price for that number of hours. That's something I really like about this and I think this is a brilliant idea and hopefully it catches on, improves and maybe gets cheaper in future. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Cheaper car insurance. The next driving app I'm going to talk about is one called Waze. Now I used this app earlier today and it shaved off nearly, well probably around 30 or 40 minutes of my journey. The cool thing about Waze is that it gives you directions that aren't just the straight, the most straightforward route. It's the quickest route and it's always the quickest route that it works out so you can also choose other options maybe to avoid paying tolls and things like that with normal sat nav apps but this app usually gets you places much faster than any other navigation app it does that by finding routes through side streets and other shortcuts that you wouldn't usually drive down or even know exist a really cool advantage that this app has is the fact that it can give you live traffic updates and tell you exactly how long that you're going to be in traffic for. So if I zoom in here on the A13, you can see that there's traffic here going, looks looks eastbound, and you can see exactly how heavy the traffic is, the name of the user who reported it, and how fast the flow of traffic is moving. And this is always really accurate. So it says 40 miles an hour. If I was to go there now, that traffic would be going at an average speed of 40 miles an hour. So you might think, what's the point of this? But for those of you who've been stuck in traffic for hours before, you'll understand why this is really awesome. Another cool thing about this app is that it uses data from every other person using Waze to show you how the flow of traffic is moving on a certain road. So if someone is driving and they've been stuck in traffic, Waze will pick that up on their phone and then communicate with yours and tell you to take another route because it knows that that road is blocked because lots of other users are having issues there. Another nice feature that I like about it is um, the different alerts and speed camera alerts. So if there's closed roads, they're always really accurate alerts about what's going on there and why there's a closure. If there's a broken down car, other users report it and it really just helps everyone Everyone contributes towards making the roads a safer and easier place to drive on. There's traffic light alerts and there's speed camera alerts and the cool thing about this is if you're going slightly over the limit it will give you a, a verbal alert and tell you that there's a speed camera coming up and show you exactly where it is. That's all for Waze and if you drive and you don't use this app trust me you're missing out on a lot. The last app I'm going to talk about is called Parkopedia and this helps you find parking spaces in areas that it's usually difficult to find somewhere to park. So if you drive, for example, if you do a lot of driving in central London, you know that finding parking can be an absolute nightmare. And even if you find somewhere to park, there might not be 
clearly marked out um, restrictions there. You might not know whether you're allowed to park there and if you're gonna get a ticket or not. So this app helps you clear that up before you even get to places. So let's say I'm going to um, Oxford Search Circus. So that's somewhere I've used Parkopedia to get to a lot. So it will show you all the different parking zones and you can see how much it costs to park in each area, which areas are more, more expensive, which places are cheaper, and all of the streets that you can park on. So it will show you the bays, um, how much they cost per hour, all of that information is on there. And I think you can set navigation to go to the places as well. Another cool option you have, and I think they've made like a pro version of this now, so you have to pay to get some of these features, but it's worth it. You can choose what hours you want to go to somewhere. So for example, parking times now on the Saturday that I'm filming this are going to be different from tomorrow or Monday morning. So you can set what time you're going to get there, what time you're going to leave, and it will give you an accurate um, listing of how much you're going to pay to park in that space. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe.